Yes, that's right. A new version of my Undertale with the YouTube program is out. We have a lot more to discuss since last video, so stay tuned for all the updates. One of the main things that probably popped out to you was the config menu. This thing here now has a lot more settings, looks a lot nicer, and you can tweak them to your liking. But first, let's talk about the main feature, the revamps. As you can tell, we have a lot more of the gameplay. Early in development, I made each process run in order. For example, boost player checks, collision detection, and then dynamic box detection. This is very slow, as each of the functions of the programs needs to wait in a queue for their turn in line. However, I implemented threads, which basically allowed the program to split all these functions into their own queue, drastically increasing FPS. It went from ranging 10 to 30 FPS to 60 to 1000. This allows the player to have a lot more smoothly and less choppy movement, and it allows a collision detection to now almost run every frame without slowing down the application. On top of this, platforms finally work. The player can actually stand on them now, however it's still a bit buggy, but I will fix this at a later time. Now, onto the new features. First off, Karmic Retribution. This is essentially the KR or Karma debuff that you get when you fight Sans. Every time you get hit, you will get poisoned, and this poison will drain your health over time. This is toggleable via the check mark. Next, you can toggle the dynamic border system. Using AI, this will automatically detect where the player's box ranges and will automatically tweak the bo your box to match the YouTube box. Next, we can finally set the image of our character. When clicked, it will open up your file explorer and you need to put in any image. It will resize the image for you and recolor it, so that way you can tell if you're red, blue, yellow, orange, and so on. Additionally, I get the ability to tweak five of the most important settings. Invincibility frames, damage per hit, max HP, amount of items, and movement speed. This gives you the ability to play battles other than Sans, which do one damage and no own vulnerability, such as Papyrus, which does multiple damage per hit and gives you invincibility frames. The final addition to this update was the ability to change around the color values. It uses your mouse to select screen colors, and you can now play battles that contain other colors, such as Underfell or Green Sands. I plan on releasing a lot more content in the future, such as the Yellow Soul, Green Soul, Orange Soul, ability for the Dynamic Box to track rotating boxes, which most Undertale fan games have, as well as the AI to change heart color, because currently you need to click either 1 or 2 on your keyboard to change from red to blue soul color. Other features include the, the touch point system from Deltarune, which you need to touch or be near other attacks in order to gain healing back. And thank you for watching this devlog. If you want to try it out for yourself, I will release a demo in my Discord server soon. Subscribe to be notified when this project is finally complete, and thank you for watching.